Once daily checks are performed, the 944K is ready for operation. After powering on your machine using the SSM pad, you may perform additional checks in the monitor if needed. If your machine is equipped with tire pressure monitoring, you may check each tire's pressure by navigating to the diagnostic menu and selecting tire pressure. To check the auto lube grease level, navigate to the diagnostic menu and then select auto lube. The grease level will be displayed as a percent. If required to perform a park brake test again, navigate to the diagnostic menu and select park brake test. The monitor will walk you through the test. Located on the SSM pad are several features that may be adjusted depending upon operator preference and application. It is important for operators to understand all of these settings and how it can impact machine performance. When set up correctly, the 944K is capable of performing at a high level of production and efficiency. If set up incorrectly, it may drastically affect machine performance. The first setting is ride control. This may be turned off, on or set to the automatic mode, which is the recommended setting. Automatic mode will automatically control ride control by shutting it off at a preset speed. This is beneficial to the operator as it will turn ride control off when digging in the pile or dumping into hoppers or trucks. If operating over rough, unimproved surfaces, lower ride control speed settings are recommended. If the machine is exhibiting a rough ride, you may lower the speed setting to allow ride control to come on during this behavior. To adjust the speed at which automatic mode turns ride control on and off, navigate in the monitor to the main menu, Setup, and Machine Preferences. Scroll down to Ride Control and adjust up or down to the preferred speed. The speed is set at 3.5 miles per hour at the factory. This speed is acceptable for many applications. Higher speeds may be used when operating over improved surfaces. Use caution lowering ride control too far. If set at too low a speed, Boom movement may occur when approaching a hopper or truck. Another productivity enhancing feature is the boom and bucket kickouts. These settings can be turned on or off and set from the SSM. To set the return to dig feature, place the bucket at the desired position. Next press and hold the button on the SSM until a beep occurs. Now the function is set. To actuate return to dig, Simply pull the lever into the detent position for more than 40 milliseconds and release the lever so that it returns to neutral. The function may be actuated from the dumped position and the rolled back position. Boom height kickout and return to carry may be set in a similar fashion. Place the boom at the desired height, press and hold the button until a beep occurs. Using these functions allows the operator to focus on their surroundings rather than the position of their boom. If it is desired to use the float function, the operator may turn return to carry off or simply place the boom lower into the detent position once the boom is at or below the set position for return to carry.